Right now at 6, chaos and terror at an LGBTQ nightclub in Colorado Springs. The latest reports say five people are dead and at least 18 more hurt after a gunman opened fire from inside the Crown Club Q crowded club queue Saturday night. Investigators are trying to piece together the motive behind the rampage. Now we can tell you too, the suspected shooter is still in a Colorado hospital. And as of now, the attack has not been confirmed as a hate crime, but the FBI says that it is looking into whether it should be. However, we can say too here on top of the murder charges, the state has charged the suspect with what's called a bias motivated crime. And this latest attack once again putting the conversation of gun reform to the forefront. WCNC Charlotte's Jesse Pierre spoke to local groups who say enough is enough. She joins us live with their message. Jesse. Absolutely. You know, Saturday night was supposed to be a night of celebration, a night in a place where LGBTQ people are supposed to be to feel safe, but that was taken away from them. And local advocates say that they are tired of the violence and the hatred that targets their communities and they're calling for change. You know, LGBTQ people in this country and around the world are not going to be safe until we have a society and a government that fully welcomes and fully affirms all queer people of all ages, all backgrounds. A deadly shooting inside an LGBTQ nightclub in Colorado Springs, leading to calls for action. The fact that anywhere in this country you can be targeted, uh, you know, at a, a bar uh, that is, you know, for our community, uh, which, you know, is a safe space, uh, is really disturbing and, and tragic. Local LGBTQ leaders say there's been an increase in threats and violence against their community. Many of them wondering how many lives lost will it take for change? North Carolina has some of the weakest hate crime laws in the country. So if an event like this happened, our state law would not protect LGBTQ people under hate crimes. Uh, there's been uh, a number of bills across the country that have passed that uh, are demonizing transgender and non-conforming people. So yeah, we have a problem. Several lawmakers have spoken out against the attack, including North Carolina Congresswoman Alma Adams, saying, quote, we can never be satisfied with thoughts and prayers in the face of unyielding violence and vicious hate. We know that easy access to assault weapons makes these shootings possible. We know inflammatory attacks on the LGBTQ community opened the door for the acceptance of hate. Meanwhile, the community banding together as they cope with the tragedy. People who want to erase us will not succeed. Now, the Biden administration also released a statement saying that gun violence continues to have a devastating impact on the LGBTQ plus communities and families across the country and that it is time to ban assault weapons. The president adds that there is no place for violence, hatred and bigotry in America. Live in Uptown, Jesse Pierre, WCNC Charlotte. Mm, Jesse, thank you.